Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix ready or not is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low FPS drop stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround and the first one is whenever you're having these kind of trouble you can start with a simple restart for this we just need to go over here in the start icon click on this one and go to the power icon over here and go for the restart so once the restart is done we can try launch the game so this is actually a basic one we can try this out because sometimes you know a simple restart can fix a lot of these kind of issues so you have to start with the restart next one is all about we have to do is what we need to do is we just need to uh, launch the game not from the steam but we have to launch the game from the installation folder for this we just need to go over here and try not launching the game frame in the Steam because sometimes you know launching the game frame Steam might be causing the issue up. So we just need to navigate to the installation folder. So we have a shortcut from the Steam that is all about we just need to go over here right click, go to the properties, go for install it file and we just need to click on the browse. So that will redirect you to the installation folder and if you check over here at the top that is this PC, lock in the C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps common and we have to go for ready or not. Now from here as you can see we just need to launch the game. So this is what we have to do. So most of the cases when we launch the game from the installation folder the issue has to be fixed. But in most cases this has to be fixed like I said. But some cases this won't fix. So we have to try two more steps. And one among them is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. And for this we just need to right click over here. We have to go to the show more options. Go to the properties and we have to go to the compatibility. Click on run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. This is what we have to do. In most cases, as far as I'm concerned, this used to work for many users. And even if that is not the case, we need to try our most step, which is all about we have to click, click over here, go for show more options and we have to go to the properties, go for compatibility. We have to click on run this program in the compatibility mode. We have to set this to Windows 7 as the first one, go for apply and go for OK. If Windows 7 is not working, try with Windows 8 and that has to be worked. That is what we have to do. Just go for apply and we have to go for OK and that is what we have to do. So this is what we have to do as the second one. So once you launch the game from the installation folder, in both the cases which I mentioned, if that is not working, you don't have to get panicked. We just need to move to the next step. That is all about we have to do is we just need to try launch the game from here and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard, which worked for many users, for example, games like, you know, Spider-Man Morales and even for, uh, you know, what I have to say, Ranked Simulator and for all these it buckets, we have to do the same. So just launch the game, you have to press Alt and Tab and you have to see whether the issue is solved. Next one, we have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, navigate to settings, go for time and language, go for date and time. Make sure time zone and time zone, all these things has to be turned on, which is very important. So we have to turn on the time and time zone and time automatically. All these three has to be turned on. Now we have to go back, go to the language and region. Now from here, was what we need to do is we just need to go over here and set this up. And as you can see this, you have to select the, uh, you know, what you have to do is you have to select the correct region which you are from actually. For example, if you're from United States, you have to set United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to set United Kingdom and you have to do vice versa. So once you set the exact location over here, we are done with this one and we have to go over here. We have to move to the next one. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, what we need to do is we just need to delete the some some of the game uh, save a game file. So once you start the game, when you started saving the game, you know definitely there will be a folder developer. So just go over here in the uh, folder. Just go over here in the My Documents, and as you can see, these are some of the games that are already there. So House Flipfoot 2, uh, Overwatch, and even for the Rockstar games, you know uh, Ratchet and Clank, Drift Apart, Diablo 4, and many things. Same way you'll be able to find a folder or you have to get into the folder my games and over here you'll be able to find the folder for ready or not and you have to delete the respective folder and you have to keep in mind when you do this up you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but even though if you lose it this particular step did work it for many users so you can try this out because launching the uh, game from the scratch is what it all looks like so it's definitely gonna work for you guys as well. 
Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search and we have to navigate to the control panel over here. We have to go for system and security. We have to go for Windows Defender Firewall and we have to go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to the R. Hence it is an alphabet. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to R. So here it is ready or not. Make sure both the private and public both has to be selected, which is very important. So both has to be marked. So if it's not marked, what we need to do is we just need to click on the change setting. We have to go for allow another app, go for the browse. Now from here, we just need to go over here, this PC, go to local disk C, go to program for x86, and we have to go for Steam. We have to navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the ready or not. So just go over here in the game. Just select this one and we have to go for open and we have to go for add. So I'm getting the error because the game is not, not at all added. That is why I'm getting the error. So we just need to add the game. So once it's been added, you're done with this one. Try launch the game. Still, if you're having the negative, then we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the system configuration. Now go for the services and we have to go for disable all. Go for hide all Microsoft services and we have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. They're going to ask you for restart. So the users who are watching this, you have to go for restart. But I'm going to go for exit without restart because uh, we're in the middle of shooting. So I'm going to go for exit without restart and you have to go for restart. And once afterwards, you have to try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of peripherals. For example, you know, uh, joysticks might be connected. Uh, you know, mouses might be connected. Multiple monitors might be connected. Even many other things might be connected, which all causing you the crashing issue. So what we need to do is we just need to unplug all these things. And once you unplug all these things, what we need to do is we just need to try launch the game. And if it's working, you're fine with it. Or else, you know, once you're in the game, you can try connect it back and you can try playing the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, disable the Steam overlay for the game, which is quite important as well. So just go over here in the game, right click, and we have to go to the properties and we have to make sure over here, as you can see, there is an option called enable the Steam overlay while in the game. So this must be turned on, sorry, turn it off at any cost. And this is very important. And afterwards, try launch the game. So if it's already turned off like this, you're fine with it. Just move to the next one. Next one is a very important step which worked for many users, which is all about we are giving few commands to the launch option. And the first one is all about we have to try giving the command DX11. So DX11 is going to work for most of the guys. Is if DX11 is not working, you have to try this to DX12 and which will be working to reserve as well. So either the DX11 or we have to try with DX12. Anyone thinks will be working and you have to try and we have to try launch the game. Next one, what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we have to close all the overlay application. So when you launch the game, you know, there are a lot of things running in the background, which is causing the issues. So just navigate to the task manager. And right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. And all these things are actually utilizing the performance and they are crashing. And that is why we are having the issues. So at the same time, simultaneously, we launch the game and we are having a lot of things running in the background. So definitely, you know, it's going to crash. So what we're trying to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things. For example, you know, Discord, Reward Tuner, MSC Afterburner, all which comes to the category of overlay and overclocking applications, vice versa. You have to remove all these things. And once you remove everything, just go back and we have to try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved. Next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search, we have to go for graphics settings over here. And what we need to do is we just need to add the game. So if the game is not added, just click on the browse and we have to navigate to this PC. We have to go to local disk C, go to the program for x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam and we have to go for Steam apps and we have to go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to uh, ready or not over here. And we have to go to this one and we have to add it. So uh, as you can see, the game is already added. So I just need to go a little bit lower over here. And I need to find the game. So just go over here. So once the game is added, just click on the option and make sure this would be by default, let Windows decide. So we have to change this to high performance. And once you save this to high performance and go for save. And once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory, which is a very important step. So just go over here and we need to go for the view advanced system settings and we have to go over here. Click on the advanced and we have to go for the settings, go for the advanced one and we have to go for the change and make sure this is blank and you have to select the local C. 
and which is very really important so we have to select the lock index c and we have to go for the custom size so the custom size the initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so we need to set the ram so we just need to do a little bit of calculation so we need a calculator so we have to start from the uh, first that we have to type a ram so the ram of my computer which i'm using right now is actually 32 gb so i have to type the ram 32 gb and i have to multiply it with a constant value that is 1024 which do the conversions and that brings you an answer of 32768 and with this one you have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152. Copy this particular value and we have to paste it over here. We have to go to the next one that is multiply 32 GB, multiply it with 1024. That brings you this one and you have to multiply it with 3. That brings you 98304 and we have to paste it up and we have to set this and go for the restart and once afterwards try launching the game. Next one is all about we have to update the windows. That is quite important. So just go over here, navigate to the settings. We have to go to the windows update and just update the windows. So updating the windows will be working fine and it worked for many users. You can try this out as well. So once you set this up, you have to try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card. So just go over here in the game. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both Nvidia as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here and from here you have to select all the details like you know what I have to say you have to select the product type you have to select the product series you have to go for the product operating system language etc everything should be selected and once you select everything for example everything is selected and we have to go over here 4080 and we have to go for Windows 11 and go for start search. Now from here once you set this up and we have to go over here and once afterwards you'll begin in these versions that are 546.33 which is the latest uh, driver version you have to download this one and you have to go over here into the AMD so just select uh, this one over here and we have to go for the submit and from here if you're on windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 you can download this one as well and also you can try uh, downloading the microsoft visual c plus plus and the system is based on if the system is which you are using is based on x64 then you have to download this one and if the system is based on x86 you have to download this one and the system is based on arm64 you have to download this one you can try this and install a restart is a very mandatory when you do this up and even after trying with this if it's still it's not working you can try two step is just quite important the one among them is you have to uninstall the game so just go to the manage and uninstall the game and the next one keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back so the game is already in the c and when you're trying to reinstalling it back on c it's not going to work so you have to try the local disk from c to d but you have to try from c to e and whatever it is you have to try the position of local disk and even tried with this if you're having the trouble the last and the least step is all about we have to try verify integrity of game file so if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues then definitely you'll be having the crashing issue so for this reason we have to go over here select this one right click we have to go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so it is going to take a little bit of time because what happens is you know uh, it's going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing which is causing the issue up so we don't know what is the actual issue or what is why we are having the crashing issue so when we do the step you know they're going to fix this up so this is what it's very important so you have to do the verify integrity of game file and afterwards most probably the issue will be completely fixed so we just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and once you're done with this one do a restart and afterwards most probably will be working out and if you find this video helpful
as you can see we received a message like you know 42,299 files successfully validated which means there is no issue with the file so these steps might work out and if you're having still with the issue i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye